And so we have once again reached Saffron, full of psychic types which go almost unrivaled. Almost. Let's see how we do today. What's going on guys, it's Ned Cinderace here and welcome back to another video. For this video we're going to be doing episode 26 of the Pokemon Stadium playthrough. In the last episode we battled Koga of the Fuchsia Gym and we won eventually. But today I am being worried about this gym like last time we're going up against Sabrina. So let's pick out our Pokemon. Now, it's round two, so there might not be as much psychic types, but I know for sure there'll be as much trouble. So I am going to bring Mr. Mime again, because Mr. Mime is like one of the heroes of this series. Uh, we'll bring Jinx too, good moveset. Uh, bring Lapras and Jilteon. A lot of Pokemon we have already used, yes, but we need a strong team for this. We should bring a fire type just in case. No, that's not going to cut it. I brought all of Sam, was it last episode? Pretty sure it was. I will bring Arcanine, why not? See, that's the thing. I brought two psychic types, but we've got two ice types also, so it's like, you don't know what type. You may need. We could have, say, another a grass type, and then we'd have no cover for, say, I don't know, dragon. I know we've got two ice types, but it's just like an example. We might not have a counter for anything. It could be we either pick them really good or really badly, because I am not looking at the teams before we start. That's a good move. Rock slide for an Arbok. In fact, we're going to bring you, because I don't often bring Arbok. This could be a first team. But anyways, Cube Ball is first. And he has a team of two rock types, two ground types really, two fighting types, two war types. In other words, a team that I feel like I should be okay with as long as I pick the right choices. So, let's bring Lapras. No, 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 no. Let's bring Jinx. Because Jinx covers all of them except for Dugong. That being said, we'll bring Lapras for coverage. And uh, we'll bring Jilty on. As long as we don't have it based sand slash in the final round, so. Now that is something I'm glad about. If we take out sand slash now, then Jilty on will be more or less safe. A slap! Earthquake here, see? Yikes! Jinx! I mean, wow. Let's use Ice Punch again and then try a lovely kiss for whoever's next. So hopefully you're all having a good day today. Today's been okay for me anyways, so but hopefully you're still having a pretty good day. We have Dugong, so I will indeed use Lovely Kiss. And also, okay, <laughs> I've always liked that, for some reason the way he says that. Oh, what a lovely, oh come on! <laughs> I have this thing in my Pokemon Violet series where I keep saying I can't speak, and in this series it's always, oh come on. Hmm, there we go. But yeah, hopefully, you're enjoying the videos so far if you are then please give the video a like give a wee comment and check out the other videos in the series we are did that i brought arcanine i thought i brought oh no i thought i brought jolteon oh i must have pressed the wrong button great start <laughs> great start but at least the special style of dugong is lowered I am going to be pretty annoyed if it's Polyrath. Oh, it's Rhydon. Rhydon, okay, never mind. What's that? Damn the weak spot. 
<laughs> hey, we got a crit. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? No, absolutely not. Not in your daily. No way. We are not keeping Arcanine. My plan is this. Lapras takes down Rhydon. And we do as much damage as possible to Dugong for Arcanine to just finish it off. Yeah! Wow. There goes Trench. There's only one Pokemon left in well, I say Trench. My my ride on was called Trench back in Pokemon There's Blue. Left in so, yeah. <laughs> I've already explained that in one of the previous episodes. I think it was episode... 18, I want to say. It's Prime Cup Ultra... Ultra Ball. Jeez, yikes. Yes, I know, not very effective, but one, we don't have many moves to use, and two, it's lowered the speed. So it looks like it's a speed tie. Okay, so we're going to try and just do as much damage as possible. I did, I did toy with the idea of using Sing, but if it misses, that's a move wasted. Hey. Yeah, we don't have a lot of good moves against Dugong. Pardon me. Nope. Oh, but I think we still have a free turn for Arcanine. Come on, Arcanine. All you need to do is get one good hit and we are done. What? Arcanine. I am very glad that happened the way it did. Nice one, Arcanine. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. It was harder than I thought it would be, but it was not too bad either. I wish I brought Jolty on. Why? I don't know. I definitely remembered picking Jolty on. I just, well, obviously I hadn't. But even so, I even said Jolty on. Whatever. It's it's in the past now. So. Okay, so, what are we bringing today? Lapras seems like a good one, apart from against Champler. Uh, Jolteon, and I made sure it is actually Jolteon. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Mime. Oh, that's not... It's not what I want. Mr. Mime is tanky. So, yeah. I don't know if it's faster than Machamp, but I'll definitely take a hit. Took more damage than I thought it would, but it still took the hit. Nice one, Mr. Mine. Oh, 
<laughs> if there's one thing you've got to find quite interesting is that Mr. Mime and Machamp have just made me... They have made me realise something. And that is... Mr. Mime obviously has fingers. I individual fingers that move on their own. Whereas Machamp has pretty much four mittens. So, it's a battle between fingers and mittens. Got a speed drop. It's a head -on collision. Power versus power. I can't afford to switch, unfortunately, in case Jolteon is paralyzed or Mr. Wayne goes down. Sorry, Lapras. But you did do a good there. I still don't feel confident about Mr. Mime outspeeding Ninetales, unfortunately. Let's try Thunder. We're definitely faster even without that speed drop, so... Oh no, we oh, didn't... Oh, I thought Ninetales is going to use Dig. If it was Dig, then either Mr. Mime or Jolteon would go down. Because one's too fast. And even if it wasn't... It would still get hit by Dig, and then switching to Mr. Mine would also cause it to get hit by Dig. And with 3 HP, I don't have much confidence in Mr. Mine surviving. So, yeah, we're just lucky we didn't use Dig. Dashlar! Is definitely faster than Mr. Mine. So, Knockout or Paralysis? Or neither? <laughs> no, 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 no. Whoa, that had no effect. Neither one is conceding an ace. What now? If you want to see the best use of horn drill, watch my one of my previous episodes. It's episode 19, the Prime Cup Master Ball. <laughs> it's it's so good that it was named after something I said in a video. I think it was along the lines of just for fun that I'm going to use horn drill or something like that. Okay. Three Pokemon leaked to electric. Mr. Mime, I'm bringing you again, and what does Arbok do? We don't really use Arbok, let's use Arbok! If I recall, Arbok, if not Arcanine, are the only ones that aren't actually thumbnail material just yet. In other words, they need a thumbnail, and I don't know if this will be it for either of them. Look at them! Oh, Jolteon! That first hit meant everything. The first move is just as important as the last move. Come on! Huh? Oh, never mind. I'm just having a think there. If you use Invade, that's a good plan, actually. I don't want to use Mr. Mame. Poison types. We have, yeah, we have Glare. One is conceding 
Uh, <laughs> let's switch again. I mean, if, as long as we don't damage Gengar, we're not going to get attacked. Like, we're not going to get damaged. So, we're just going to have to set it up so that we don't get hit by Bide. That was a good hit. Here we go again. Nice one, Mr. Bane. Tentacruel. Excellent. You know what? I have genuinely forgotten who the first Pokemon was that we saw. Unfortunately, I think this has been missed. Oh, it's Eric. Why am I seeing a deck? I'm thinking of Fire Red. It's Gobat. Yeah, I don't think this goal back can do much against the Pokemon I'm about to send out. Here's a Pokemon stick. Yeah, Arbok. What's this? And the weak spot. Hmm, that actually did quite a bit of damage. Okay, we'll switch if we have to. Only if the need arises. Oh no! Let's try it again. Yeah, Jolteon, you're coming back. Or should I say Bolteon again? Prime Cup. Back to the Prime Cup. At least it's not supersonic. Yeah! Hey! That's it! Hey! So far, so good. This was the gym that genuinely made me worried, but. Now I'm starting to think this is an episode that will turn out a bit better. I hope. Anyways, time for the gym leader. Sabrina. This is going to be something. So, yeah, she's got Alakazam, Mr. Mime and Exeggutor. I thought she'd have Jinx. There's Hypno too. Snorlax is good for a special, and Wigglytuff is just there because Wigglytuff isn't easy to deal with either. So we'll go with Jinx and Mr. Mime for coverage against those pesky psychic types. And finally, who else do we bring? I'm either going to pick Lapras or Jilteon, so I'm going to press A and up at the same time. Sabrina, the Saffron Gym Leader, and the Mistress of Psychic Pokemon. 
Exeggutor. Ice Punch. Explosion? Already? Why? Now I'm starting to wish I brought Gengar or Haunter. Even Ghastly would have helped. Back to the fingers against mittens. Neither Pokemon is backing down. See, Mr. Mime has actual fingers. Whereas Hypno has mittens. Mega kick. Yikes. What a furious battle. I don't often use counter. But I'm going to see how much it does. <gasps> Mr. Mime! No, oh, I didn't think it would take it down, but... Wow! That was... A hit! What's going on here? This is quite a battle! Fitting that this is her last Pokemon. It truly is fitting. I just. Uh, yeah. Whether it's Jolteon or Lapras, I just hope they can take the hit. Time to find out who I brought. It better not be Arcanine, I swear. Oh, it's Lapras, okay. Okay, so it comes down to this. Reflect. Okay. So that didn't slow down Alvizam, which is a bit of a shame. Let's try Ice Beam, so much damage it does. Here we go. Good hit, yep. Okay, it's still not too great. What now? That's a good hit. If we slow down Alakazam, there's hope. What do do? Okay. Fireworks are flying. Please tell me Lapras is faster. Oh no, we're done. Oh, we were so close! So close to perfecting that. That was so close to being a one-run gym. Like, well, I say like, so Erica's, but yeah, that one was different. So, I will be back when we have defeated Sabrina. I'll see you all shortly. Okay, let's see if this burns, lowers explosions as power, yeah. Please weaken explosion enough for Arcanine to survive! 
Yeah! Nice one, Arcanine! I was kind of also hoping that Arcanine had big. That was my better, that was like my initial plan, but at least we got that one working. No, I think Alakazam's gonna be faster. Yeah. Still won't use Reflect. Still don't even know what the last Pokemon's going to be. The Pokemon are entirely so that begs the question: How do we tackle this? Is more resistant to physical There's the attack. Oh, what a furious battle! Please land Jolteon. Good. You don't often see uh, a Jolteon being outsped by anything, but I wouldn't know because I'm. Mr. Mime. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. The tenth battle Para continues. paralysis, please. Vigorous attack. Trickle hit, okay. Oh, so close. What's this? Yeah, I think we're done, really. All we need to do is just land a hit. Even if Pin Missile doesn't do it, Lapis will definitely survive. Ugh. Oh, but the tension is building. Wow. Going down. We're down to one Pokemon aside. Oh, it's I'm right. just glad that one turned out much better. That was a ten. Four? Yeah, this was like the, the fourth time. Battling Mr. Uh, Sabrina. Oh, that's clever, actually. Yeah, if we had been paralyzed enough times, we would have lost. But thank you. We won. That was. Uh, that's a relief, actually. I'm just glad we won. Thanks to Arcanine burning Executor and tanking that hit in the process. That was very lucky. So we have received the key from Sabrina and opened Blaine's Tower. The Cinnabar Gym. Quite, uh, quite one to remember for a number of reasons, but we'll go into that next time. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, then please like the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel for more content. And also check out my Twitter that I'm active on on a regular. It's the same name as the channel, made Cinderace, so the link to that is in the is in the on the channel. I can speak there, wrong series. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.